In this video, we'll be finding the equation of a line given two points on that line. We'll start with looking at how we can find the slope of a line. So we've defined slope a few different ways. We know that slope is rise divided by run. We know that in the equation y equals mx plus b, the m value is the slope. And we know that if we were to graph a line, maybe has a y-intercept, goes through those points, we can look at the rise and the run. So let's just put a scale on here. So this is running over three units, running up two units. And so using rise divided by run, we can see that our slope of this line that I've drawn would be two thirds. We should all be comfortable talking about slope this way now. But sometimes we're not gonna be able to easily graph relationships to find the rise and the run. Sometimes it'll be a little bit harder. So what we can use is an alternate formula for slope, where slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And right now this probably looks a little confusing. But let's look at an example to see what that looks like. Let's try and find the slope of a line without graphing that goes through the points 1 and 5 and the point negative 4 and negative 10. So we're going to use that equation slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what does this mean? Well, looking at our points Remember that these points are always an x and a y value. And what this equation means is pick one of these points to be our first x value and pick one of these points to be our second x value. An easy way to do this so that things always work out nicely is find the largest x value between your two points. And let's make that our point x2, y2. And then the smallest x value will be our point x1 and y1. So here, the number 1 is equal to x2. The number 5 is equal to y2. So in our equation for slope, we're going to sub in 5 for y2. We're going to sub in 1 for x2. We're going to sub in negative 10 for y1. We're going to sub in negative 4 for x1. And now we just need to solve this numerically. So 5 take away negative 10 turns into 5 plus 10. 1 take away negative 4 turns into 1 plus 4. This gives us 15 over 5 which then simplifies to just positive 3. So the slope of the line between the points 1 and 5 and negative 4 and 10 would be 3. Let's try another one. Let's try and find the slope between negative 3 and 7 and the point 6 and 1. Again, I look at my x values and my largest x value will be x2, y2. And the point with my lowest x value will be x1, y1. Doing just this just makes manipulating the equation a little bit easier. Just plugging this into the equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I end up with 1 take away 7 over 
6 take away negative 3. Solving this now, I get negative 6 over 6 take away negative 3, which would be positive 9. And then my slope would simplify to or reduce to negative 2 thirds. So how can we use this new formula to find the equation of a line that goes through two points? Well remember we're trying always to fit our equations of lines into this format y equals mx plus b. So the first thing I need to do is find the slope between these two points. So I will use that equation. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So subbing in my values, I've picked 5 and 3 to be x2, y2, 2 and 1 to be x1, y1. So subbing in, I have 3 take away 1 over 5 take away 2. Reducing. Solving this and reducing, I get 2 over 3. So in my equation y equals mx plus b, I now know my slope is 2 thirds. And now I'm going to sub in a point. And we're going to sub in a point to find the b value. Our best option is to try and pick a point that would make our manipulation as easy as possible. So I think I'm going to sub in the point 2 and 1. So I end up with 1 equals 2 thirds times 2 plus b. Or 1 equals 4 thirds plus b. Bring the 4 thirds to the other side. 1 take away 4 thirds equals b, and now you can evaluate this on your calculator, and you should get negative one-third equals b. So our equation of the line would be y equals two-thirds x minus one-third. Last problem for this video, determine the equation of a line with an x-intercept of six and the same y-intercept as my standard form equation, five x minus two y minus eight equals zero. So we need to do a little bit of decoding. What we're looking for are two points. We'll call it point one and point two. I've been told that this equation has an x-intercept of six. So if I have an x-intercept of six, that means my point is the point six and zero. So point number one equals six and zero. Point number two is the same y-intercept as the standard form equation. Y-intercepts happen when x is equal to zero. So if I sub zero in for x in my standard form equation, and then solve for y, I end up with a y-intercept of negative four. So point number two is the point zero and negative four. I'm going to use these two points together to find my slope. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Pick the largest x value to be my second point. So I would have zero take away negative four over six take away 0. Which gives me a slope of 4 6 which reduces to a slope of 2 thirds. So in the equation y equals mx plus b, my equation of a line, I know my slope is 2 thirds. If 
I sub in a point, so let's say I sub in the point 0 and negative 4, I can find my b value. And this is almost e trivial. I end up with negative 4 equals 2 thirds times 0, which is just 0 plus b. Or my b value is negative 4. So my y, my equation of a line is y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. Hello.